what is up you guys long time no see yeah i know i owe you guys a explanation for being gone for so long i know y'all probably all hate me and i will give you one but not in this video oh my god i'm sorry about the train we have trains and they are so annoying because they go off like every five minutes but anyways i'm gonna make an update video and i'll explain everything then but right now we are about to go preview a car that is on the auction it's the ef hatch we're about to head out but first i gotta drop off a package at the post office and then go get coffee because you gotta have coffee and then we'll be hitting the road so i'm gonna take you guys along with us so let's get going Sorry, God, I didn't mean to creep on you. Okay. Medium mocha frappe with no chocolate drizzle. It's good. guys we're here but it's super windy so sorry about that hopefully they let us record back there i don't know for sure i'm gonna be upset if not but we'll see let's go all right guys we're gonna get the first look together here we go Ooh, beautiful right this side looks good all right let's look at this side Ooh. This thing ate a curve or something. Oh look the factory no passenger window. I mean mirror. Dang. What's it look like in there guys? I can't see but y'all can tell me. Here's pretty clean. <laughs> RSX Typus floor mats. What is that? Here's the PCU. PO6. Oh, I got a tablet. Guys, I almost died. You gotta be careful out here. Dang, ripped the hole in my pants. Oh. Got some coil overs. What are those function forms? The exhaust came out the hanger. I see this big dip in the roof. What even are these wheels? They're cute though. bar on it. Aftermarket motor mounts. Okay, looks good. Dang, the alternator looks clean. Let's check the coolant. Got any freeze. Just need to see what's going on with the suspension. Now it has aftermarket upper arms. OEM flappers. Did you say something? Oh, it turns. It turns. When is this battery? It looks newer. Let's 
Oh, here it is, 922. Oh, 922, dang. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to look at the suspension and I will get back to you guys. All right, update, guys. Look at this. He ripped that off for the chassis. I mean, it's just spot welded on, but it also like bent part of the chassis. That's what I was worried about. I was hoping it was just all suspension that would unbolt. So, I don't know, guys. Can't really look at the front very good. Just can't really see under there. It's too low. I'm gonna stick y'all in there. Let me know if y'all see anything. Ow. Thinking, thinking, thinking. What's up, you guys? It's actually a couple days later since the last clip. It's actually Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving, you guys. Y'all probably won't see this until the day after Thanksgiving, but still, it counts, right? <laughs> so, update on the hatch. My plans had changed for what I wanted to buy it for. After seeing the damage to the, like, chassis, I decided I was just wanting it for parts and stuff to fix my other cars. If y'all remember, I used to drive uh, my Wago van, like daily drive it, and eventually it got low oil pressure, like the oil pressure light. When I started the car, it would stay on for like 30 seconds before it would go off, and then when I'd be driving, it would start flickering. I mean, maybe it was like a sensor or something, but I don't know, that car like had a head gasket problem from the day I bought it. And I would just top it off with coolant and then the light started staying on so I was like okay I'm just gonna park this car. So I've been looking for another engine and single cams have gotten pretty expensive. So I was like well I'll just buy this whole car and I can use the engine for the Wago van and I can use like some other parts for like my hatch and stuff. But guys that car I don't know. I bid up to 750 and I was like that's kind of as high as I want to go. At first I did like 650 and then I got outbid and I was like okay I'll do 750 but that's it. And then like at the very end there was like a bidding war between like three different people and it ended up going for $1,300 and I just wasn't really wanting to pay that much. I know it's not a terrible deal but I don't know guys. I just wasn't ready to spend that much. And there's also a 13% buyer's fee on top of the sale price. And then you have to go pick it up and y'all know that's like really far from me so I let it go. It was still cool to check it out. I hope y'all still enjoyed that. Sorry it's kind of like a waste. It's like we go look at a car and then I don't get it but I mean that's just how it goes sometimes. But yeah I just want to update you guys. I'm about to head out to go have Thanksgiving with my family. So I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and end this video right here. Not much more to say. I'll see you guys soon with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.